Hello, my name is Alex Lemons. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon in Pinehurst, North Carolina. Today we're going to talk about the Jumpstart Surgical Dressing and specifically the FlexiFit product for use in spine care. This is an introduction about why this matters. The rate of surgical site infection, both superficial and deep, can range from under 1% up to 16%, depending on a number of patient, pathology, and procedure-related factors. Specifically for spine fusion patients, the rate is right around 5%. We all understand there is more time, effort, and financial cost associated with post-operative infection. On a personal level, I hate to get the call about a patient draining, but these estimates of cost on a healthcare level are massive as well. This is a large and more recent review of post-operative spine infection. This is a retrospective review of 6,727 surgical fusions from Harborview Medical in Seattle. There were 351 post-operative infections identified within 90 days of surgery. This is consistent with the rates being around 5%, and overall, this represented the most common complication after spine fusion. The thing that is important and interesting about this study is the breakdown of infectious organisms based on the location of surgery. Gram-positive microbes accounted for the majority of infection in the cervical spine. Below T4, there were increasing rates of gram-negative infection. Gram-negative organisms account for the majority of thoracolumbar infections with the most occurring in the lumbosacral level. These organisms are resistant to cephalosporins like our prophylactic ANCEF. Enterobacter and enterococcus were the most common resistant organisms, and these are enteric organisms. This presents a problem. That brings us to possible solutions. The Jumpstart FlexiFit is a surgical dressing with silver and zinc cells that create a microcurrent when wet. This enhances healing and prevents infection. This is a waterproof barrier that can be left in place for seven days. It is easy to apply and versatile with the link and build feature to fit any length incision. In my experience, this dressing is robust and a very capable physical barrier. Considering our concern about the enteric organisms, this is an important factor. This also simplifies post-operative instructions and post-operative care in my practice. We can allow patients to shower without any spray directly on the incision and not worry about the dressing for up to seven days. I think this is immensely valuable for unreliable patients and those who may need to go to a skilled nursing facility or a rehab center. I use this dressing on every patient that I can fit it on. The technology that really sets this product apart is the generation of the microcurrent across the skin. This is achieved by the embedded elemental silver and zinc that creates electricity in the presence of moisture. The electrical current disrupts bacterial signaling and mimics the skin's physiologic electric field. Published studies demonstrate Jumpstart's ability to kill a broad spectrum of microbes, including multi-drug resistant and biofilm forming bacteria. The images on the screen depict the effect on Pseudomonas biofilm with a fluorescence staining. Jumpstart has an effect on the organisms listed and even bactericidal effect on these resistant organisms. There are organisms that would not be covered by your standard prophylactic antibiotics. An important point is all of the most common gram-negative organisms that we discussed in the article are impacted by Jumpstart. The skin's natural electric field plays a role in cell migration and healing. As a result, the microcurrent created by Jumpstart also has the ability to increase the rate of keratinocyte migration in vitro and re-epithelialization in vivo. These dressings are used in many other wound applications, and you can see a significant advantage with epithelialization demonstrated in the image. This was quantified as a 72% increase over standard wound care. There are even publications about preoperative placement to decrease bacterial burden in different surgical sites. I will leave you with images of the whole process of covering a longer incision. This was a T10 to the pelvis fusion being sealed by my trusty PA. Again, these dressings are ideal for high risk or unreliable patients, but as our data on infection suggests, they are potentially beneficial in all thoracolumbar cases. Here you can see the entire incision sealed, 
If this patient was slow to mobilize or has to go to a skilled nursing facility, I have more confidence in the wound care using Jumpstart. Again, I use Jumpstart on every thoracolumbar case that I perform. Thank you for your time and your attention.